everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Seppi, and in today's video, I have something that is so important to me that I want to discuss with you guys, and it's something that from the moment I've realized it, like, it's just been weighing down on my shoulders how badly I need to explain this to you guys and tell you guys, because I feel like it's a message that I need to share. It'll probably be the most important message that I will ever share on my channel. So if there's anything that I can say in advance of watching this is if it helps you in any way, please just press like. You don't have to comment if you don't want to. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. But if you press like, then you will share the message of this with someone else who it might truly help. And I will be grateful on their behalf because this is something that I feel like everyone should hear. Now, moving on to what it is that I actually want to say, because I do want to get to the point of it. Recently, I've noticed myself and a lot of my friends and the people around me have been going through the same issues or the same things that are upsetting them, the same difficulties. And I was trying to figure out why are we all going through this? Like, why is it that we are all... Uh, struggling or upset over something and for my friends I can see a solution for me my friends can see a solution um, but when it comes to ourselves we can't seem to come up with a solution and I've realized what it all boils down to and what it does all come down to is knowing your worth so what I really want to say from this video is all about the importance of knowing your worth and I'm not just talking about in terms of um, dating or in terms of work. I mean in terms of all aspects of your life, including dating or work. Knowing your worth is what will get you to where you want to be in life, is what will get you happy overall in life. Maybe momentarily, there might be points where knowing your worth will stop you from doing what you want to do in the moment, but knowing your worth overall will definitely aid you to be happy and to get you to where you want to be in life. Now, let me get into specifically what I mean by knowing your worth. When I say know your worth, I want you to sit down and I want you to think of something that you've wanted in your life that you haven't got to and think to yourself, was that really something that was in my league? Was that something that I was worthy of? Or was it something that passed me by and I was worthy of more? Because so often I've noticed the things that tend to pass me in life, at the moment I'm really, really upset about it. But once it's passed me, I've realized actually, I am worth so much more. So the first example I'm going to start with is relationships. As some of you guys may know, my Instagram is Persian Bunny and I often do Q&As on there. And a lot of the time, you guys come to me for relationship struggles and dilemmas. The same thing that I tend to hear is someone is unhappy with something that their partner has done or their partner has cheated on them and they want to take them back or they feel like they are with the wrong person. And honestly, you guys come to me for answers. Should I stay with this person? Is this person worth my time? Am I gonna be happy in the long run? And the truth is, you might be thinking, how would a stranger know the answer for me? But I do know the answer for you. And the answer for you is, know your worth. Is what you are worthy of somebody who makes you feel like every moment they are with you is a special moment that they can't live without you? Or is your worth a guy who replies to your text messages or a girl who uh, only replies to your Instagram stories when she sees you're out partying and wants an invite? Know your worth. What are you worthy of? What, are you, what do you think you deserve? There is nothing more powerful in this world than someone actually knowing their worth. Often when we lose out romantically in this example, it's because we don't actually know our value and we look to the other person to give us our value because we don't know what our value is ourselves. We haven't sit down to think, hey, I'm a nice person. I'm actually good looking. I attract people. My personality is good. My heart is really loving and caring. And if I have a partner, I give it my 100%. I take care of myself. I have so much going for me. I don't rely on the other person for anything. And then once you add all this up, imagine it's like a car. Imagine it's the new Range Rover and you're thinking, hey, I have the new heated seats. I have the sunroof. I have all leather chairs and interior. I have everything in there. So why on earth are you selling a Range Rover Vogue for the price of a Vauxhall Astra? Can you see by what I'm trying to say that you guys might not realize what your worth is because you've never sat down to tot up your value. You don't need to tot up your value by comparing yourself to others. You need to tot up your value and know your worth based on what you have to offer. And the second thing I'm gonna move on to is work as an example. A lot, of, a lot of my friends come and tell me, 
oh my god, I'm so unhappy with my work right now. I deserve this promotion, but you know, the manager told me not to apply for it, or I should move, uh, or I should ask for a pay rise, um, and you don't do it, or you're just sitting there unhappy and you don't know what you are worthy of. So let me sit here and tell you, again, you have to sit down in the same scenario and use the same question. What is my worth? Calculate this, know your worth. Are you skilled for that job? Do you have experience in that job? Are you passionate about that job? Are you willing to put in extra hours, research, dedicate yourself to networking in that community of where you work and getting to know your colleagues and your peers? Are you someone good to work with? Are you a team are you a team player? Are you a leader? Know everything that you have to offer and don't be afraid to reach and ask for what you want. If you don't know your worth, you're always going to be too afraid to ask because you're so scared to even ask yourself, what am I worthy of? If you're scared to ask yourself, how are you going to be confident enough to ask someone else? You know, you want someone else to constantly tell you your worth, but if you know it, then you can go and express that to the person that you are asking for this promotion for or for this job for. The same goes for education. If you want to apply to the best university, but you are scared of rejection, you are not going to get anywhere. A lot of the times, the people who are scared of rejection are, are afraid because they are going off of other people's rejection stories. What does that mean? It means without sitting down and evaluating yourself, you are basing your worth off of the story of someone else someone else's worth. You have to sit down and tell yourself, hey, I want to go to Oxford. I want to go to Harvard. I want to go to Tehran's Sharia University. I don't know. These are the ones that are coming off the top of my brain. But whatever university it is that you want to go to, or whatever course it is you want to study, you do not sit down and compare yourself to X, Y, and Z who got in or didn't get in. You need to sit down and calculate your worth, your university CV. Is your university CV having the best grades on there? Does it have all of your achievements on there? Have you done things extracurricular on there that will push your CV out and make it look better than the rest of the people? Do you know your exact value? And even in a scenario like education, where if you sit down and calculate your value, if it is slightly beneath what it is you are aiming for, the fact that you've sat down and worked out your worth, you can increase your worth in any of the situations that I've described whether it be work, relationships, university and education, anything that you can think of in your life, you can increase your worth constantly. The way that you do that is by putting in time and investing in yourself. If you invest in yourself, then you will ultimately always appreciate in worth. Again, sticking to the example of university, if you want to apply to the best university and you don't quite have the grades to get, get to where you want to go to, always know that where you want to get to is what you're worthy of. Maybe what you're worth at that moment in time isn't as much because you haven't invested in yourself, because maybe you've been afraid by what other people have told you. Maybe you're afraid of failure because you're basing your life off of other people's worthiness, off of other people's stories of what they're worth. But let me tell you, until you sit down and you figure out, hey, this is what I have going for me. This is what I can add on to what I have going for me. This is what the extra time I could put in in myself. This is the extra investment I could put into myself. Until you sit down and do that, you will not increase your worth. But let me tell you, once you do figure out what you are worth, your life will change forever and for the better. Do you ever sit there and sometimes look in the mirror or look on social media and think to yourself, hey, I just don't look that beautiful compared to these people. The examples I'm giving, the examples I'm giving, by the way, are things that either I've experienced or my friends have experienced and that I've felt or I've felt for other people. So... You know, I'm coming from somewhere from experience. I'm not coming up with these examples out of thin air. There are a lot of people who compare themselves and their looks to other people and think that someone else's beauty is taking away from their own. Notice that I didn't say what most people tend to say. A lot of people, when they want to make you feel better um, about maybe not feeling as beautiful or knowing and appreciating your own beauty, will try and put other people down by telling you, hey, Instagram is all edited, everyone's fake, everyone's had plastic surgery, everyone's had this and that. The truth is that there are loads of people who you will meet in real life who are beautiful and will have you in awe, or you'll see on social media who, who are beautiful and will have you in awe. Maybe there are also people out there who've edited or touched up, but the most important thing here is not 
to look at other people's beauty to work out your worth but to look at yourself and know that you are beautiful and to know your own worth how many people do you know that are beautiful i bet you you can name more than one person who is beautiful so what does that go to show you it goes to show you that there can be more than one person who's beautiful so why can't you be beautiful why are you not knowing your own worth if you are not comparing person A, who you thought of who's beautiful, and person B, who you, th who you thought of who's beautiful, then why are you making yourself person C and comparing yourself to both of those people? You deserve to have that same non-judgment for yourself and same non-comparison for yourself as you have for others. And you deserve to know your worth and know how beautiful you are the same way you appreciate the worth of other people's beauty and know how beautiful they are. Now, this video is basically a really, really, really important message that I wanted to get out there for you guys. And honestly, a lot of, like I said, a lot of my friends, even myself, have been struggling recently because I didn't realize that I just didn't know my worth. I didn't know my worth. I didn't realize that I was selling a Range Rover Vogue uh, for the price of a Vauxhall Astra. I didn't understand that until I know what I'm worthy of, how can I know how much to ask back for or what to ask back for? If you don't know what you're worthy of, you will always undersell. You will never upsell, ever, ever. You will always undersell yourself and you'll always fall short and you'll never be happy. But if you know what you're worthy of, be sure that you will either be minimum content or elated and happy because other people around you will only be the people who know your worth because you've made sure that you have cut out people who are unworthy of you. Now, in all honesty, you might watch this video once and it might hit you and it might make a change for you. You might have to listen to this video over and over and over again until it clicks for you, until you can finally let it sink in, until you can finally realize, I need to know my worth. I need to work out what I am worthy of. I need to tell myself what I'm worthy of. I need to remind myself every day. And if you need to listen to this video over and over again until you know what you need to do to be happy, until you know what you need to do to get what you deserve, until you realize you need to know your worth, listen to this video over and over again. Comment down below how many times you've listened to this video if you need to. If you wanna support each other, you can write comments down below and you can discuss with each other the importance of knowing your worth. But please, please, please just don't forget the message of this video. And if it even touched you in, in like 1% of a way, please just make sure that you give this video a thumbs up so that other it can reach other people who needed to hear this. Because I know there are times where I needed to hear this and I didn't. So I just hope that this message gets out there for you guys. I really, really, really want to expand on this topic and talk to you guys more about self-worth, confidence, and appreciation of yourself, which I think is so important, in, especially in this day and age. So if you guys wanna see more videos like this, just tell me in the comments and I'll film more videos like this. I really wanna film a part two of this going into each topic of, no, of self-worth in terms of relationships, in terms of work, in terms of education, in terms of beauty and appearance everything so if you guys want to see that just let me know in the description or give this video a thumbs up and it will give me an indication i love you all so much and i'll see you next time bye